Hello, hello, hello. This is Gigao, modder, YouTuber, Twitch streamer. Welcome to a new episode of Three Crowns, One King, a Mew and Texas V3.0 Alpha um, for Europa Universalis 4. Um, a couple of disclaimers before we start this episode. Do note that it's still an alpha version of me and taxes v3.0 so uh, some things are still a little broken uh, in this case you will see that although we have reformation it's still a little too strong it has been toned down and uh, the balance improved uh, since also i was keeping up with the commits and the development branch up until a point where uh, they reworked the economy and I got kind of a <laughs> in-between uh, commit where uh, trade values are a little too high. Therefore, everybody, me included, has a lot of money from trade. This part, uh, getting a huge amount of money from trade is directly the way the vanilla does is not representative of what will happen in the final well in the release re release version i hope you still enjoy the the video here we go would make it easier for our tech and uh, and so on Sometime I will be uh, checking because we have um, England, uh, no, Turkey and Italy, uh, Italy in a football match for the moment for the Euro 2020. I know we're not in 2020. And tomorrow there's Belgium playing. France is a little bit later. I think it's on the 15th. Just tuned in. Why are you earning? Uh, I wouldn't call that earning anything. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not even a, a major player right there. Where am I? Am I even on it? Yeah, no, I'm not getting... No! Oh. <laughs> uh, because my trade power is rubbish. Because for the moment, I, I don't even have... Uh, yeah, I, could, I guess I could send my trade ships. But I mean, it's about um, once it's one six of our income, so it's not too bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm all the way down there. Base value corruption. Yeah, because we have lot of, we lose a lot to corruption. Yeah, I'm already having trouble with England and you want me to face the English army. I mean, if I could trade, I, if we could have a feature like the 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 raiders in CK3, I could try and, and raid uh, Paris. That's true. <laughs> um, it'd be better to collect in the North Sea. Um... Let's try that. I'm not sure it will change much, but collect trade from this guy. And then I'm going to tell you to protect trade in the uh, Baltic Sea because the uh, Hans, ah, uh, uh, Baltic Sea. Uh, wait, 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 come back. Lose the non-trade ships. They're going to be costing a lot. Um, uh, 
click to trade. Hey, Daddy Macboy! Every time I come here, you're a different hat on. <laughs> um, I have a few now. Uh, I even have a... I just got a hood for when I play Going Medieval. And I got for when I replay Korea, I have a Korea... Uh, a Korea... Hongbo, I think it's called. Um, uh, come on. Can you face them? No, you can't. Okay, let's stop drilling. To go and help our ally. Uh, yeah, I'm getting more money. That was... Well, in the end, I'm not getting more money, but... Oh, wait. Uh, will you let me cross into your land? I mean, it's to help you, so you better accept. Do you collect these uh, at fairs and stuff, or do you... Uh, no, I... Uh, so this one was just... Um... No, this one and the hood that I just bought, it's from a, a medieval um, uh, what do you call, um, you know, uh, someone who makes, um, a company who makes medieval uh, clothes, uh, weapons, armors, and so on, where you can buy uh, online. And uh, then uh, uh, the um, the uh, Korean Hongbo I bought online uh, after discussing with Rose. And most of the other things I basically bought on uh, Amazon. Just made myself something to eat. That's good. You have to eat. Eat is an important part of life. Of course, usually I, one of my motto is not, is that I don't eat to live, I live to eat. In, internet is indeed wonderful. I uh, go back to uh, drilling. Sausage. I love sausage. I don't care about this. Um, is our... No, our income is bad. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, probably instead of moving money to the Baltic, maybe I should instead uh, collect. Because I'm moving money towards a node where... Um, where I have nobody to collect the trade. Uh, -pum 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 -pum. Adrotag is dead. The great Valdemar uh, for Adrotag is dead. Uh, while he will be known to the Swedes as Valdemar the evil. Nah, we help the Swedes. Come on, we're not evil. We're not evil. Uh, most uh, especially the Danes will remember him at the cane who brought Denmark back from the ruins of the 12 year uh, interregnum where German counts ruled Denmark. His heir and grandson Olaf is too young to rule immediately. His mother, the youngest daughter of Valdemar, will be his regent. regent. Okay, and we lose some stability. Fair enough. There we go. Um, royal marriage with Sweden. Yes, please. We want to keep our relations good with them. Um, 
Yeah, no, we managed that. That won't last because... <laughs> I mean... With, with my usual uh, with my usual uh, luck, um, did you get a special CB against Schleswig? No, not at this point. Uh, pa -pa 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 uh, what did I want to look at? I wanted to look at something. Um, I'm getting less and less money. The more I think I'm going to get money, the less I get. <laughs> uh, is it because... No, my... I don't know. Hey, Major Bangeek. I'm good. How are you? Thought I saw one after the king died. Um, uh, we apparently we keep we have one. I guess. Uh, the problem is Bohemia. No, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I, I, so you were right. I got a special CB against Schleswig, but I'm not going to fight Bohemia. Not at this point. Uh, yeah, uh, at least I can tell these guys to, uh, where is it? Mothball the fleet. And let's indeed... I'm not going to reduce the maintenance of the the fleet because I would like the fleet to continue. Uh, I think that when they are they're a little more problematic uh, for the protecting of trade. I feel. Um, uh, we get our stability back. We might get a, end up being in a new war with England. There we go. More money, more good. ML just started a Riga run. I never knew how much I hated Fort. <laughs> well, that's something you won't see me doing. A, well, not not for the moment, at least. Uh, it's Riga. Sadly, Denmark can invade only poor Baltic region. Exactly. England is preparing to attack Norway in a war of aggression. The, there is not much time to, if we want to interfere. The trusting personality of Afric is likely why it's common knowledge. Um, I'm starting to wonder if we manage to, uh, to, to survive until uh, the end of the stream. If I'm not going to remove those claims on those three islands, because they do, that do, doesn't make any sense. Silly them. I don't know how, what you think about it, if it's cheating or if it's just repairing an issue. Uh, uh, with the size of my army and so on, I'm an, uh, uh, I wouldn't have anybody to protect the homeland. And we saw that they were uh, not shy on attacking us. Uh, the hey to, uh, toast uh, toasty lampa, sorry. Uh, Orkney, um, Shetland, uh, fuck. Uh, Shetney. Uh, and uh, Faroe, the, the, these three islands, which are owned by Norway. And for me, it makes sense that Scotland wants to get these islands back, but it doesn't make sense that England tries to get them before having Scotland. Uh, I plead guilty. I mean, if there's this issue, I will have to check the mission tree, but I'm ready to bet it's because I made a mistake while preparing the missions. Uh, 
but for me it doesn't make sense that England wants to go to war with us for these for these islands. Uh, fleet, come back home because you're going to be sunk. If you remain outside, let's go severe in case we are able to. Uh, let's get two. Yeah, three, three. I mean. So, yeah, I think I will be doing some cleaning uh, before tomorrow's session. Uh, that is um, 250. <laughs> and we're at 3.0, 1.30 for those who are curious. Uh, for the moment, we are. And fuck, we're. Oh no, we're losing. Oh wow, we're losing zero ducats. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to. Oh fuck! Look at the size of that army. And they're not even trying to go after the... Oh, we lost a general. Um, I'm going to take the tradition to try and get a mayor better chance. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, that sucks. I made a mistake. <laughs> Uh, you're still, are you guys going to join me in trying to get after, especially because they go after mainland here. Well, if they control the, the, the island first, okay, I understand, but. Uh Oh, we defeated them. Wow. Uh Oh fuck. Uh they're bringing all of their troops. Get that video, but you're too lazy. Um, yeah, this game is not starting well, and Sweden is suiciding. Oh, but that can be good. Uh, maybe my timing was bad. And I lost this time. Fuck. <sighs> um. Yeah. Oops. I am going to reload. And play Norway. No, I'm not going to play Norway. Um, just a second. What I'm going to do... I'm not going to wait for next time. So it's 1, 2, 50. That one is 369. 
one to fifty one. Um, just a second. Uh, just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm not going to. If I'm going to cheat, I'm going to cheat in style and just show it. <laughs> uh, where is it? Uh, so this one, we're going to lose it. Oops. Went to the wrong screen. So I'm going to, oops. We're going to see if I can check something. Uh, 369 variables, we don't care about that. Uh, there is a shit ton of variables all the time. Uh, cores, claims. Okay. 1, 2, 50. It's a large file, so it takes a while to find because we're already at line um, 1 million file 250. Uh, come on, hurry up. Uh, so then we are going to ch ch check claim. And then we're going to go to the... Oh no, it starts from the start? Interesting. Uh, except that here it seems strange. 1, 2, 51. Equal. Finish my last exam today and just clean my apartment. Can't wait till I get home and play some me, me and Texas. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, 251. Claim. Wait, didn't I say it was one? Two? Twelve fifty one. Uh, but this is not Julish. What the hell is going on? Two fifty one. It's an island. I'm confused. There is a claim only Norway core claim. I thought I had seen a, no, it's just, okay. It's just these two guys. Okay. This room is me, me, meta. <laughs> okay. So let's save and let's say load. Twelve fifty one, and I hope it will be enough because <laughs> uh, let me get back to the right. Uh, close W. Tell me that there we go. That makes more sense. Yeah, Mike, uh, basically, I was cleaning up a claim that was set on these two islands, which made that England was trying to conquer these two islands, uh, despite not having uh, Scotland. What I'll do is if Scotland owns these, uh, all of Scotland, uh, no, sorry, if England owns all of, all of Scotland, I'll manually give it back 
the uh, the claims. I'm going to put a note to that effect. If ng owns SEO claim back on Arcnay and um, Schlatland. So it's three sixty nine and twelve fifty. There we go. Does 3.0 have a decision about idea reinitialization? I don't believe so. Um, I would have to check. I know that there is one for missions, occasion, uh, no, I know, yeah, there is one to clean up uh, when there are changes that are made uh, during a game so that the missions get adapted. Uh, how I'm doing? Um, I'm not doing too bad. Uh, <laughs> the game is a little more uh, difficult with me than I hoped. <laughs> um, you, please, get another trade ship. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I started... At, as a training, uh, I put back a, a stream I did in January uh, on a game called um, Airborne Kingdom, and I tr I used it as a training to put things uh, to put it on uh, YouTube, so that I can put my Yemen campaign on YouTube as well. Uh, but it'll take a little time. Uh, no, that we know that we are going to wait a little bit. Now, when are you going to send me 3.0 so I can stream with you? <laughs> um, actually, I don't know. Um, sorry. Uh, we are having more money, so I might do a little spending on um, some investments. It's that or check uh, what I can, what trouble I can get with my, uh, my estates. Don't know which play, nations to play. Um, there are a bunch of nice nations. Burgers have little power, little love. Uh, nobility has a lot more power. Um, dispassionate peasantry to oppressed peasantry. Now these ones, I have to get them up. Yeah, right, I have to get them up. Uh, we can I have this. Oh, I don't remember how... Low obligations. I don't remember how these. I don't remember how these works. To be honest. Oh, those were the the, the reforms. The game monopoly. Forestry monopoly. Okay. Uh, review the impact of reform and the potential reactions to change. Uh, if I want to revoke loyalty, we will lose loyalty of the of the nobles. Uh, less uh, good relations with them, but our peasants will have better welfare. Um, yeah. Uh, are these removed completely? Okay, it seems that they don't have, they're disappear from here. Try Danzig. Uh isn't that a little evil? <laughs> T 
to suggest dancing. <laughs> you know what? I try Oman in MNT. Well, uh, I didn't, as you know, I didn't, I will try to put it soon on, uh, on YouTube, but I had loads of fun in a Yemen campaign. Uh, did we, do we have enough ships? No. Oh no, we ended up not, we haven't taken it yet. Sorry. Um, so what could we do? We're already working on trying to fight off our nobles. Uh, we have our tech coming. Um, maybe we could invest in our capital. Yemen has a bit too harsh of a situation with the Mamluk border for me. Yeah, uh, if maybe what I can suggest is um, Banyurasi is in a better position. They're also closer to um, to the Mamluks, I know, but they're easier to to they they they, they start with a better situation, having their. Um, having better better cities and so on i know i <laughs> it took me a while to re to reinforce my nation enough to take on banyurasi as yemen so i would say that yeah maybe with banyurasi you are you can more easily uh, grab yemen oman but yeah it took me a while to f to find uh the problem is that the Arabic Peninsula, uh, you're stuck between there and you have the Persia is quite strong. Yeah, and I hope you, that you have fun with it. I don't remember why I picked Yemen, basically. Why did I pick Yemen at the time? I know that I was, I was having a crash with Denmark and so I basically selected uh what i could uh i need to have have force limit at 25. oh boy that's going to take a while because for the moment my force limit is at eight <laughs> okay we're still gaining money uh, we're investing in our capital. Yep. Building it off. Hello, Frick Reboo. Comment vas-tu? I hope that you're doing all right, that everybody is doing all right. Ready for the weekend? Hey, Admiral Fisher. Um, I think in Belgium we should be having a nice weather during the weekend. Let me check. Yeah, Saturday, Sunday is going to be a bright, sunny weekend. Um, ready to drink with friends. <laughs> We're having a lot of storms. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, at some point I was half expecting we got a, a storm because uh, things the um, is getting very hot. very And it's sometimes a sign that there was going to be a storm. Say bright and sunny, isn't it? It depends. You know, uh, strikes here in Belgium where it rains about 360 days a year, uh, you try to enjoy the few days of sunshine you have. Don't hit me, Frikaribu, please. <laughs> I'm joking. It's what uh, some colleagues in Liège uh, called um, Ma mauvaise foi de méridional. <laughs> Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's no. I know that it's the the North Sea and so on. It's uh, it's crappy weather, uh, but. Yeah, 35 is a little, it's a little hot. Yeah, I agree. Um, even when I lived in Montpellier, I didn't like when we were getting to 35, 40 degrees Celsius. I really didn't like it. <laughs> uh, what are we going to do? We're going to take up. So that we can soon have uh, something nice for our, uh, so that we are able to choose some uh, new national idea. Yeah, 20, 25 degrees is the, well, like right now, it's the temperature I like. Uh, the death of Olouf in 1387. Okay, we're a little early. Uh, we'll, I will have to check those events uh to uh to correct to correct it and he's not 17 he's five poor crown prince Olaf, the king of norway and denmark died at the age of 17 years old leaving his mother margaret as the regent of both countries the same exact reason for his death is no sorry the exact uh, reason for his death is unknown however to stay regent and effective ruler of denmark for a long time it was believed that margaret herself ordered the death of her own son margaret uh profited from all of the death as she was elected regent of norway too with his death the swedish Bielbo dynasty died out. Uh, the important Bielbo dynasty were crucial in the formation of the Swedish kingdom. Berger Jarl is attributed uh, to have founded the capital of Stockholm and played a pivotal role in the consolidation of Sweden. He was one of just many uh, prominent members of the Bielbo uh, dynasty. Okay. The heir for the Dano Norwegian uh, throne. Uh, with the unfortunate death of Olaf, the son of the Droning, the new heir is needed. Uh, Margaret uh, has a relative in Pomerania, the grandson of Eric of her sister Ingeborg. Uh, it's one option. The other option were, could be to you one of our uh, several royal marriages with other dynasties. Uh, yeah, let's take Eric of Pomerania. Okay. Also, remember, there is no bad weather. There is just bad clothes. Norwegian expression. Okay, uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, yeah, he's a crappy heir. Uh, let's change our army yeah we need the other army perfect uh, still not a bright um oh right it's because we are still relying on our nobles and our nobles uh dislike us uh pop -pom, review privileges support the nobles uh let's heal some concessions uh which one is it it's this one strategic marriage you know because of starting uh mg i changed my pick in arabia uh to the nobads okay uh my son is no longer renting army i don't care about them running each other money uh armies sorry money um i may have missed a chance no we're, we have the royal marriage sorry my bad um what i'm going to do is we are going to check that we are buddies with our allies 
especially from the moment we are going to be allied with um no sorry i mean have our um permanent union uh no our personal oh wow my personal union with sweden and norway we want to be sure that we remain buddies bad new time yeah okay that one I haven't tested yet. I've tasted... I haven't played much outside of Europe, to be honest. And here I'm playing uh, ins um, inside Europe because I want to test and look at... Um, Luthien... Uh, Lutheran... Lutheran... Uh, Protestants and Reformation. Um, let's see, did we get, oh, that's something that I wanted to check if I could add, uh, to see something more easily. Um, this one or the other one is here. Yep. Wycliffeism has appeared on the map. We have a few Wycliffe fights, um, in Cambridge. Uh, Bemus Papam, the France is the papal controller. Uh, okay. Um, England has decided to go after Denmark, uh, after Scotland. Uh, well, strengthen the uh, do this that I forgot to do. Uh, we have some. It's not that there's nothing to do, it's that. <laughs> It's scary to do things. Um, and let's invest in farmlands in our other provinces. And we'll soon do a... Oh, wow. We don't have much money left. Uh, and I could try to constantly have a royal marriage with the Mamluks to have them not attack me. Yeah, that's that. And potentially have a... Like here, I'm not going to keep them long because uh, I'm not sure it's very useful, but it's have someone improve relations permanently to have it uh, go down at the least possible way. Um, the problem is that to declare war, so basically you have to strengthen your, your uh, alias. You have to st start by th strengthening your nation. There is also declaration of war. The problem is that we have the choice between uh, Russia, the orders, Germany, well, the Holy Roman Empire, and France or England. Uh, and we don't have the fleet currently to go all the way to Ireland. Uh, and Conquering Ireland is just putting ourselves a little more on the path of England. So it's true that at this point there isn't much to The Urban Desert is quite populated. <laughs> it's quite populated. More than I thought when I, w I started playing. Well, the provinces that are there are populated, but then there are also all the wasteland, which is unpopulated. Uh, you are, yeah, you are part of these guys. There is no, these are not independent. You are not independent. And you are part of the empire. If we want to check, where is it? Yeah, and then if we go all the way over there. And then we have Russia. And I don't think that we're ready to face Russia at this point. 
So basically, we will have to cho to choose. Do we try to go mostly naval and try to fight off England, or do we, or um, we remain land and we fight off Russia? How are you feeling about the new CK3 Dionysus uh, DLC that will come sometime soon? Uh, the courts, uh, I feel, are very nice. Uh, I haven't looked in detail, so I can't say for sure at this point. But I will definitely uh, try and play it. But the, for, the, for the moment, I have my plans on, on my streams. Base case would be me getting an alliance with the Mamluks till I got a bit of Persia. Yeah, for sure. Uh, risk to fight England. I don't have the fleet to fight England. They have five galleys here. Um, let's take one of our cogs. Uh, let's unmothball it. Uh, let's get you here. Oh, uh, that's, that's for sure, Elias. Uh, I intend on trying to uh, focus on Vinland. Restoring Vinland. The sad... The, the, hello, the sad thing is that I... Haven't had time to finish my new map of um, of Canada to show off a little bit. Well, the thing is, right now, so I'm on Tuesdays. I'm playing um, going medieval, and I don't. So I don't know when they will release uh, that new DLC. Oh shit, I can't because of my ships that are... Oh shoot. Um, okay, for the moment, stop there. Uh, and then I will be uh, taking care, I will be streaming some humankind. So it will depend on how things go. There, we're going to start repairing our cog. I know that it will make us lose some money, but I would like to explore to see how many ships they have around there. Happy Arctic winter noise. <laughs> exactly. Well, it stands to reason that Norway will remain, well, um, Norway, Denmark and so on will remain in areas with the same kind of climate. Uh, yeah, I will have to change that. Mubot, Mubot, what are you saying? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, Mubot. Where are you? Because those ideas are not right at all. Um, this one we can stop. Goals. Uh, grow tall. Uh, kill the navels. Unite can Scandinavia. Restore the Danelaw. Rebuild Vinland. Well, sorry. Uh, we do have the, the goals. <laughs> so this will be... Let's keep those goals. <laughs> uh, and ideas. I'm going to... Aristocracy. For the moment, we have fortifications. Um... Trade, bureaucracy, naval, exploration, quality. Yeah, that seems not too bad. Uh, ground fleet, I don't know. These, 
I put a question mark because basically uh, one never knows. Um, Canton, uh, and I have another one. It's the um, uh, Mu and Texas enhanced. Enhanced uh, monuments. Uh, I'll have to find a link for you to find. For those who don't know, uh, Alcar made a sub mod uh, with loads of um, of monuments. So it's not monuments in the sen sense of 1.31, except that he might do it. Uh, I don't think I will copy this. Uh, but he added a lot of, uh, of churches, uh, and in Italy, uh, it's more, uh, walled cities. We're going to show you, uh, for those who haven't seen it. Uh, he's made a terrific job. Um, so here you can see, where is it? Um, you can see that here you have walled cities. Uh, some which it looks nice with the cities, the, um, sorry, the houses starting to be outside the city, which is quite, uh, quite historical. You have the walled city of Carcassonne here. Um, he, he's done an incredible job. Uh, uh, I don't remember where where else he had some stuff. Oh, he has put the the walls of um, how are they called? The walls of uh, what's his name? Theodosian walls. Um, some other runes over here. Uh, he's done an incredible job. So I play with it because it's it's beautiful. I think he said that he wanted to add them uh, bonuses, upgrades a bit like uh, the, the the vanilla monuments in what dot thirty one. That part I'm less a fan of, to be honest. But I mean, that's the great thing about modding. We can all adapt the game to what we prefer. Uh, we're starting to have a little more money. So let's check our capital. Our capital, uh, yeah, the urban industry is still growing. Uh, maybe we can invest in our industry here uh, that's those are two cities right it's our two main cities basically okay Good. You are being attacked by Bremen. Well, I wanted to allow you, but I can't. The game doesn't want me to... for us to be friends. So we're going to be able to take our new idea group. Um, so, what did we say? Um, do we confirm trade? Trade seems like a good idea. So let's go for trade. We will finish fortifications and then we will do a little trade. Uh, pa -pa -pum, pa -pa -pum, pa -pa -pum, pa -pa -pum. 
So I don't know where we could go to war with, who we can go to war, war with. Um, because I'm not going to go after uh, Bohemia. My hope is that Bohemia ends up... Bohemia is supposed to go uh, to lose its imperial title uh, by going uh, Hussite. Is there any good industry for Denmark to focus on or heavy focus on trade? Well, for the moment, I'm trying to get a sm at least a small focus on ships uh, to be able to... Uh, To get a, a bigger fleet especially because one of my ideas one of my missions is to get uh, i need to have 25 uh ships oh for that i need more harborage oh, wow too many places to invest not enough let's build a lego factory <laughs> yeah and then we throw legos in the path of our enemies and they will ah no And we're putting a cut here. Thank you for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, uh, Discord, the links are in the description below. If you have any questions on this episode and on some features, you can post them in the comment section below. And I hope to see you very soon for a new episode. Bye.